Hey guys, what is up? It's Affinity Designs here with a brand new tutorial for Affinity Photo. This one is going to be a fun one. It's something that you're going to be using a lot in design. It's uh, it's very useful. Um, so what we're going to do is pretty much replace the sky of this image. This is an image, a stock image I got from a stock website and um, the, the sky is nice but it's very boring. There's no clouds or anything. So we're going to be replacing that and I'll show you how. I'll show you what we're going to be doing first. Uh, so I'll show you an example. If I just enable the mask, we added a new sky, another sky that goes over the, the mountains. I added a gradient map so that we can change the tone of the image. So it's not very warm anymore. It's a bit more cool. It kind of looks like you're at a, at a mountain. So let's get right into the tutorial. Let me just hide the example and enable the original background. So the first thing we want to do is just duplicate the original background just in case we need to uh, get access to it. So duplicate it, then hide the first one. We could just name this one edited background so that we know that we made edits to it like that. And then what we're going to do is also if you have a sky image, bring it in. So I'm, I'm going to be using this one. And put that one below the edited image or edited background like that and uh, we will be using that but for now let's just disable that one now what we want to do is uh, just select the edited background and then we're going to be masking out the sky so we need to use our selection so where is that this is the selection brush right here go to that and pretty much click and drag around the sky like this um, you're not going to get it exactly correct the first time so what you need to do is pretty much hold down alt on your keyboard and click on the areas that you don't want to select like that so just go around and do that and you can adjust the size of your brush so just go to the top bar and adjust the size to fit your need and you can zoom in again just hold down z on your keyboard and click and drag to zoom in and then go back to your selection brush hold alt and uh, keep adjusting your selection like that so i will speed this process up until you have done yours as well and uh, we'll get back to the finished selection Welcome back. So we have a pretty good selection of our sky, but the next thing we need to do is mask it out. So we selected the sky, but we need to get rid of the sky. So we need to inverse the selection and we can do that by hitting Control Shift I or Command Shift I on your keyboard. And now we have the rest of the image selected instead of the sky. And then go down here and hit the mask button so that we can remove the sky. There we go. It looks pretty good. You can hit Control or Command D to deselect and uh, we have removed the sky now we can go ahead and enable the new sky that we added in and that's going to be in the background behind our scene and that looks good but we want to add a bit more of an effect it, do it does look like you just placed a random background in the back because uh it, it, i mean we did a pretty good job of removing the sky but we want to spice it up a bit more so uh we're gonna add the sky over the actual mountains so just duplicate the the first sky by hitting Control or command j to duplicate it and drag the second one over the edited background image like that now the problem is that we can't see the scene obviously so we need to mask out some of the, the clouds so i'm just going to bump up this image a bit just so it's not exactly the same uh positioning as the first one so just bump it up a little like that it does not have to be you know perfect but uh, we can uh, hit the mask button go to your brush tool and uh, the opacity is 100 flow is 100 but we can play around with that uh, as we need it because we're going to be getting close to the edge of the sky and we don't want um, random random spots showing up so just you know keep that in mind let's just start erasing some of the sky like this the bottom portion is pretty easy to do just click and drag around um, to eliminate the sky like this as you get closer to the edge of the clouds 
maybe lower the size of your brush and maybe even the opacity or the flow so that we don't erase something we don't need. Don't erase all of it, try to keep some over the, the mountains because we want that effect like the clouds are coming over. It. It's looking pretty good so far. Um, it's not going to look exactly like mine and mine's not going to look exactly like yours but you know play around with it. You have the creative, creative freedom to do what you want so mess around with the tools and the technique that I have showed you. But uh, I'm gonna. Pro I'm probably gonna speed this process up, and then I'll get back to you as I uh, finish this part up, and then we can add the gradient map to our final image. All right, welcome back. We have removed the sky. We have added the clouds in. We added some foggy effect to it. And now we're going to be adding the final touch to our design. Um, so just go down to the bottom for the adjustments. And we have an option for a gradient map. And uh, that's going to add that cool tone to the background. So uh, right now, I obviously looks kind of stupid and weird. But we're going to be spicing that up. Uh, just go, to, go down to the blend mode and choose soft light if I can find it right there and let's add a different color so for the first one I do have the hex codes that I have used so I will share that with you the first one is 68D8 or B00 that's the first color that's like a green color the middle one which is at 50 position that one's gonna be 00 75 ff that's a blue the third one is a blue as well but it's a different tone so it's going to be 499 cff like that and obviously the tone is a bit too much the effect is too harsh so we're gonna drop the opacity to maybe 25 percent like that and it's looking good you can obviously play around with the colors and as well as the soft light if that doesn't work, try to use another blend mode. Also play around with the opacity. Um, so that's going to depend on what image you choose. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys learned something new, hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel because we just hit 800 subscribers recently. So that's a big milestone for me. Uh, I'm going to be dropping a new template for you guys. It's going to be free, obviously, because I love you guys and uh, the support is appreciated so thank you so much if you guys have any requests for tutorials or speed arts let me know in the comment section below also if you don't follow my twitter follow me on twitter at vinit designs the link will be down in the description as well and also my twitch i recently started streaming as well so if you guys want to see my see my live streams of me drawing or doing um, design work then also follow me there as well thank you guys so much for watching peace out